the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Now here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's what is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage, and he made good use of it there with that punch. Single collar tie now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's oh, in the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Oh man, head kick lands. Oh, that's a nice strike. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so cute. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And he landed the right hand there. Back to the feet now. With that punch, no good. All right, he engages in the single collar guy. Oh, nice. Nice. Try to establish that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Timing his shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Throws the right hand there. Nice elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He loaded up on that right hand, too. Choi's uppercut is blocked. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big kick land. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, head kick. 
kick lands, and he's hurt. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. That is how you scramble, folks. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. All right, single collar tie now. Big ball from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Got the single collar tie. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that kick. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fighting. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Nice loose punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Battling for hooks. Big head kick land. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Beautiful leg kick throw. Ten seconds to go. Jab snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always gets his hands right back to his face. Round two next. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Look at him drive the shit into his own body with that body kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Lands the right hand. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, spinning back this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. An educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. It's a good jab. Out of range with that one. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Look at the turnover in that kick. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can move on. All right, so a near-perfect entry there. And finally, he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Was able to get him down. There. Persistence pays. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns. He tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top of the All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He lands a big knee to the body. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there.
stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. He doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Big kick. Oh, nice feet of the body, just what he needed there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. That knee might have landed there. Well, we know knees to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing them in bunches. Ooh. Checks that leg kick. Beautiful kick. Oh, good kicks. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Straight punch lands. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be... That's as good a punch as he's thrown on The one that lands down the The one that you don't feel is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Oh, he got it bad! All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. The next with a right. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters and have to block the shots. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect the fighter to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. But still right oh. like that left hand. Back to the feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's hurt bad. Good punch, Lance. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Ooh, huge body shot. Big elbow there. He's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice leg kick land. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Beautiful strike. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Head kick land. Oh, 
Oh, well done to block the elbow there. Good defense. I mean, that right hand landed square. Way to hide that leg. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Just out of range with that left hook. Whoa. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Right hand landed. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Punches blocks. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, under her. Whoever's one of these. Oh. of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. And really starting to make these shots count. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nice punch by Shore. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Powerful leg kick lands. Doing a nice job putting it all together. He blocks the punch. Single collar tie now. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Big punch lands. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready? You ready? Beautiful body kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Great punch landed with so much power. Punch coming, it's blocked. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Well, missed on that one. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Right, he oh! Back to the feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Straight right, he misses. Beautiful punch. Head 
kick blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he's oh, oh. Sweet. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. That inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your point. Oh, big oh. Boy. He's out! Oh, my goodness. What a performance! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop for this contest at one minute, 43 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the...